Hey everyone and welcome to the Schwa Life Skills video blog. This is episode 15. My name is Ron Schwali and I'm the creator of the Schwa Fundo, Yoga Rati, and Schwa Structure Systems. Also the author of Building the 21st Century Child and Instruction Manual. Today we're going to be talking about bystanders of bullying. 85% of all children in schools are bystanders and you think that they have nothing to do with the whole bullying dynamic. If you have some kids that are watching bullying happening as we speak and they're going ooh and egging it on, they're actually reinforcing the bullying behavior. We need to distinguish and we need to have the kids understand that there's a difference between helping a victim and being a tattletale. And that's the realm that sometimes becomes a little, you know, too complex for the kids. I talk about a story about if they're walking down the street and two blocks away they see a car pull up and three bank robbers jump out of a car and they run into the bank. You take your cell phone, you call 911, and then the cops show up in 10 minutes or so and they run into the bank and they save all the people. Because of you, those people in the bank are safe. The cops were heroes, but you're a hero too. Heroes work together as a team. Any superhero movie that your children have watched, whether it's Fantastic Four, whether it's Spider-Man or X-Men or The Incredibles, they always work together as a team to be successful. That's the point that you have to make. If you are going to call the cops on the bank robbers, do you think that that's tattletaling? And most of the kids say, no, it's not tattletaling because the bank robbers are doing something bad. And that's the important part. The distinction that you want to teach your children is there's a difference between tattletaling and being a hero. If you're trying to get someone out of trouble, then you are being the hero. If you're trying to get someone in trouble, then you're being a tattletale. And ask your child, do you think it's more important that you have the bank robbers be in trouble, or do you think it's more important to have the people in the bank out of trouble? That's the key. Is it more important for the bully to get in trouble or is it more important for the victim to get out of trouble if you say it's more important for the victim to get out of trouble then you're right and you're being a hero when you go get help if you think it's more important to get the bully in trouble maybe because the bully bullied you then technically that's tattletaling now the other part of being a hero is getting a helper you don't ever want to try to stop a bully by yourself doesn't matter so you go and you get somebody else in your school, like a teacher or like an administrator. Now here's the thing. I am a stand for the children. Sometimes teachers are not trained in how to deal with bullying consequences. And you know that teacher that doesn't know exactly what to do. And when a teacher takes a child that's brave enough to say there's somebody getting bullied in the hallway across the way. And that teacher says, great, come with me, show me where they are. I tell the children to tell them no. And the next words out of their mouth are, I do not want to be the bully's next victim. Because the teacher is going to walk with that child who was brave enough to say that there's bully going on. She's going to go right up to the bully and say, were you bullying this child? The bully's going to say no because they're going to lie. And then they're going to look at that child that just went to the teacher to try to save the other victim. And now they are the new victim. See, sometimes, unfortunately, we have teachers that don't think of what the ramifications are after 3 o'clock. And sometimes we have teachers that, you know, listen, they just go through the systems and the processes because they have so many other things on their plate and you can't blame them. So remember, if you're a bystander child, the difference is if you're trying to get someone in trouble, you're being a tattletale. If you're trying to get somebody out of trouble, you're being a hero. Be a hero and make sure that you also don't allow your child to become the victim's, uh, the bully's next victim. Ron from Schwa Life Skills. Breathe in and schwa.